Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I hit 70,000 meters on a dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So before we go ahead and see how far we get, I just want to say please make sure to smash that subscribe button because this video took me over three hours to go ahead and make. So if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button, that'll be much appreciated. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into a match. We're now in the game, so let's go ahead and crack open these doors. So we are gonna be using the van like usual. I actually tried making this video with the ATV. But the problem with the ATV is I don't think it has an emergency brake, such as this little lever right there. So whenever I stop at like garages and stuff, then it just keeps rolling away and then like rolls like a thousand meters away. If there is an emergency brake for the ATV, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and build this van. But also since we have the ATV game pass, we have an extra nine liters of gas that we are able to use. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this and we are gonna use it. Also in this update, they did add a new radiator. So they added an upgraded radiator that can hold 15 liters of gas instead of the regular one that can only hold five so hopefully we are able to find that because that means we won't have to stop nearly as much we now finished building our car so this is what it's looking like we got the wheels right there so we don't flip over and we have 18 liters of gas we don't have 27 liters because this gas can is actually like glitched inside so we can't get that but also before we go let's eat some food because in this update they did also make your hunger go down a lot faster so we need to eat food like anytime we see it now but anyway let's go ahead and close the door and let's go ahead and start heading off so hopefully we can find the brand new radio pretty soon because it can hold 15 liters gas which will help us quite a bit but anyway we are gonna go ahead and drive straight through the storm at the beginning and then look for any buildings after it well actually i did find a gas station which looks pretty looted so let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff because this stuff actually looks pretty helpful and oh snap we actually almost got struck by lightning right there anyway let's go ahead and attach that keep running so we can avoid these people it looks like we also found the brand new shotgun so that's also pretty cool actually no i'm not gonna use it on them because i already almost finished looting this place so let's go ahead and check it out and this dude actually got struck by lightning and yeah there's nothing else here so we're just gonna go ahead and keep driving and then we'll go ahead and loot the next gas station and also it looks like the storm did pass which is also pretty good because now that means we can stop at any buildings that we find now we now found another building so let's go ahead and stop over here so let's go ahead and hop out and let's go and test out this brand new shotgun so it looks like we don't have too much ammo for it but anyway let's grab it let's try it on this dude so let's see how much damage it does make sure we don't hit our car all right so let's go ahead and shoot him again and all right so it does do quite a bit of damage it doesn't have as much ammo as the other guns but it does kill them in like two hits which is pretty nice i would probably prefer the ak though but anyway let's go ahead and obliterate this dude and there we go so that one i think actually a one hit so, so it's pretty good i would prefer the ak let's go ahead and steal this water can it looks like there's nothing useful let's go ahead and start our car hopefully we can find a double garage we know made it to 5,000 meters so let's go ahead and stop here and let's fuel up we still haven't found a better engine or a better radiator yet so that kind of stinks but anyway let's go and grab these gas cans and yeah they do still have nine liters of gas which is awesome so let's go ahead and fuel up and then we'll go ahead and cross the bridge we now went ahead and fueled up so let's go ahead and keep driving and dang we still have a lot of oil left we don't have any water in the radiator right now but we do have tons of water cans but anyway let's go ahead and speed up so we can clear this jump and there we go awesome now let's go ahead and look for any buildings because we definitely need a new engine and oh snap a tornado spawned right in front of us let's just go ahead and go around that an upgraded radiator would be nice but we mostly need to go ahead and upgrade our engine if we do find one we don't want to use a v8 engine though because we don't have nearly enough diesel so anyway let's just go ahead and keep driving and stopping at all buildings until we find something to go ahead and upgrade our stuff and at this building we did just go ahead and find the upgraded radiator so this one right here so this is the one that holds 15 liters of gas but anyway let's toss in this new radiator we have 15 liters of water perfect let's go ahead and take out this old one and now let's go ahead and toss in this new one and also at any time that we find one of these radiators we'll go ahead and take it because this one if we find one it only has five liters of gas but this one anytime we find it, it has a whole 15 liters which is like two of these canisters which is actually really good but anyway for now let's go ahead and attach this oil tank and this thing as well and then we'll go ahead and use this gas right here to go ahead and fuel up our car so this radiator in our car should work pretty much the exact same as the other one it just holds more water so there shouldn't be any big changes but now we're gonna go ahead and keep driving and stopping at billings until we find a better engine because this engine not very good especially at getting up hills we get up hills super slowly so hopefully we can find a better one we're now at 10,000 meters and we still haven't found a new engine yet so this is actually very surprising this is like the farthest i ever been without finding a new engine all right we got to go fast because if our hunger does reach zero then we do instantly die which that would be pretty bad 
bad. Anyway, let's continue. So we are gonna go pretty slow through this area. It is downhill, so we actually shouldn't go too slow. But we do need to go kind of fast through it because we need to find another building at the end that does have some food. We now made it to the end. So now let's go ahead and start to speed up and let's just hope we can find a building. I do see another building up ahead, which I think this is one of the good buildings. And it looks like it is. So this building is usually pretty good. It usually has tons of loot. So let's go ahead and stop out here. Let's up right outside so we can easily attach things to it. In here, let's go and grab this. There we go. Awesome. And eat this as well. So let's eat pretty much everything we see, including this pizza. And there we go. So let's also see if there's new engines. So that is a VA engine. That is what we don't want. It looks like there's not a new one in here. I'll grab this stuff in just a second. Is there a new one in here? And it's, dang, still no new engine. I wonder if they removed it. I don't think they did, but I'm super surprised we haven't found a single new engine yet. And there's nothing in here that we really need. We don't really need the guns. And I'll probably just grab this water cannon and call it good because we mostly need an engine. We don't really need more gas or anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and use this water to fill this up a little bit more, even though we haven't used too much. And then I'll just go ahead and attach it to the roof and we'll continue driving. We're now at 14,000 meters, still haven't found a new engine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start stacking up on diesel and then we'll switch over to a VA engine once we hit the 15,000 meter mark. We now made it to the 15,000 meter mark, which is awesome because now we need to go ahead and get this VA engine. We also get four canisters of diesel, which is pretty nice as well. So I wasn't planning on using the VA engine, but we aren't able to find like any other engine. So I'm kind of forced to use it or else we're just going to go super slow the rest of the way. So let's go ahead and grab this and I'll just go ahead and toss this one in. So there we go. And also what we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab this wheel and we need to go ahead and remove it. So let's go ahead and push it over a little bit. There we go. And now we need to go ahead and drain out all this gas because we need to go ahead and replace it with diesel. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab all this other stuff while we wait for that to drain out. We now finished attaching everything to our car. There are two water cans left. I decided to leave them. Also, our car did get struck by lightning and it made it so we can't attach those doors that fell off. So we're just going to be doorless from now on, but that's fine. And I can already feel we're so much faster already. And we're going kind of uphill. Not too much, but a little bit. So this is already so much better. I was going slow like the entire way. That's probably the longest it ever took me to reach 15,000 meters just because of how slow we were going uphill that entire time. But anyway, let's go and keep driving. So what we need to do though is we are going to need to stop at some places. Not that one. That is a bad place. But we're going to need to stop at some places because we're now going to need diesel. Which actually, I just remembered that after the 20,000 meter mark, once we defeat the ghost town, there's a whole pile of diesel canisters. And dang, hopefully we don't crash. But anyway, at the 20,000 meter mark, there's a whole pile of diesel gas cans. So we can go ahead and loot those. And I went flying out. But anyway, it should be pretty easy to go and flip this. Yeah, so we're going to go to 20,000 meters, defeat the ghost town, grab all the diesel canisters, and fill up our car the rest of the way. And here we go. Let's go ahead and push it over. And all right, pretty close. Push it over. And there we go. Awesome. We're now approaching 20,000 meters. So what we're first going to do is we're going to stop. And dang, look at all those things that just fell. And I was planning on doing this free play, but I really want to try using an RPG. So what we're going to do is we are going to buy some stuff. We now found the RPG. So here it is right here. Let's attach that. Hopefully it doesn't blow up my car in the process. Let's not pull closer because if you pull too close, then we'll probably won't be able to grab this in time. But anyway, let's run closer and let's see if this works. So yeah, so let's go ahead and run closer. So we're gonna be shooting it at them and then seeing if it obliterates absolutely all of them. So they made it where if you get too close, all of them start chasing you all at once, which we can't see a single one right now. And there we go. They're starting to chase us. Let's go ahead and shoot this. And what? Okay, that barely did any damage. All right, I thought that would absolutely obliterate them, but it barely did anything. And hopefully this doesn't kill me. Let's try it. And there we go. All right, so. It didn't do any damage to me, which is good. But anyway, let's keep running. And I thought this was gonna like insta kill them, but it looks like it doesn't. And <laughs> let's keep running. And no, we died. All right, well, that stings. Well, anyway, we can just respawn, which if we respawn, I believe it makes all of them despawn. Well, anyway, here's the ghost town right here. Let's run all the way back here where our van is. So this RPG should still have like two bullets. But yeah, this RPG is pretty much useless though, because it didn't insta kill them. So yeah, I mean, maybe if we stood back here and shot them. No, I don't even think it can reach that far. Well, anyway, let's go ahead drop it let's grab our van and let's continue going through the ghost town and then grabbing all of the diesel so here's the big pile of loot that we were looking for so let's go ahead and stop our engine turn that off make sure that we do still have oil which i don't even know where the oil knob is and it looks like we drove from 15,000 meters all the way to 20,000, and we still have a full tank of oil that is insane well anyway let's go and grab this diesel how much do we have 32 so yeah we barely used any diesel but we might as well go ahead and fill it up all the way we now have pretty much a full tank of diesel and there we go so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill up our radio grab some food and then we're pretty much not gonna stop for a while because with this brand new upgraded radiator as well we can drive a lot farther without hopping out of our car at all so anyway there we go and we'll probably leave the rest of the water can since we have so many but before we go let's make sure
sure that we do grab some food. So let's just go ahead and eat all the food we see real quick. And there we go. I'll go ahead and bring the Ava Nana for the road. And here's the engine that we were looking. So this is the engine we were looking for that entire time. And we couldn't find it. And now we find it after we already have the VA engine. But anyway, we have a full canister of diesel, which is good. So we'll just continue using the VA engine since it is better. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue driving. So we don't have to stop for like a long time. Because in the newest update, which actually let's go ahead and run past this dude right here. The car trouble vent. Usually a dude out there that shoots us with a gun. Yeah, in the newest update, pretty sure they made it. So you lose less gas and oil so we haven't lost a single drop of oil since the 15,000 meter mark so that's pretty insane and we have a full tank of diesel that barely runs out so we shouldn't have to stop for a while so let's just go ahead and keep driving the next time that we stop is probably when we're going to need to eat some more food we now made it to 35,000 meters so this was my record from one of my previous videos which is actually pretty insane also we are going to have to start stopping at buildings again we are still good on oil and gas but the thing is i did crash into one of these electricity poles right here and it caused everything on my cars to break. So all my canisters are all gone. I haven't checked the roof, but I'm pretty sure they're gone on the roof as well. Which actually, speaking of that, we definitely do need something on the roof. Because if we don't have anything on the roof and we flip over, that is pretty much the end. Because we'll be stuck on the roof. So we'll go ahead and start going slow. And the next place we see, we're going to go ahead and stop there. Also, I started driving on the sand. Because on the road, it gets slippery every now and then. Even though there's like no thunderstorm or anything, it just randomly gets slippery. So I started driving on the sand because the sand never gets slippery at all. And it looks like like there's a building right here so we're gonna go ahead and drive up there pretty slowly slow enough so we don't flip over let's go ahead and slow down turn our engine off and then pull the brake right there and all right nice so it looks like we do still have stuff on the roof which is really good but it looks like everything on the side did break but that's fine let's go check our water and dang we still have tons of water i don't think i filled this up since the 25,000 meter mark so that's actually extremely good anyway let's check it here see if there's anything we can use there is another one of these i guess i'll take it i don't really need it but i'll go ahead and put something on the side because if you have stuff on the side then that does help us from flipping over and this we don't need it but i will still put it on the side because it will help us from flipping over and there we go so now we're pretty much good to keep continuing so let's go ahead and keep driving until we reach the 45,000 meter mark we now reach 45,000 meters we're only 5,000 meters away and dang that dude started shooting at me we're only 5,000 meters away from 50,000 which is pretty insane we're now approaching 50,000 meters and i just took a look at my hunger and it looks like it's actually getting very low it's somehow like in the negatives so we gotta get food asap so let's go and hop over here hopefully there's food this is actually pretty packed let's quickly eat the pizza and there we go all right we were very close to dying from that yeah i just now checked it and it was in the negatives we now ate a ton of food so let's go ahead and quickly run away also i just went ahead and checked the timer and it's only been about 25 minutes since we were at the 25,000 meter area and there we go we just hit 50,000 meters awesome so it only took us 25 minutes to gain 25,000 meters which is pretty insane so at this pace we should get 100,000 meters in less than an hour but before we do that let's go and check everything so we still have 50 liters of diesel that is insane last time we filled this up was at the 20,000 meter spot so that means we gained 30,000 meters and we only used less than 10 liters of diesel which is insane but anyway let's just go ahead and keep continuing we now reach 65,000 meters which is insane. Also, by the way, I did go ahead and check Discord, and apparently the solo world record is only 69,000. So we're only 3.5 thousand meters away from the world record, which is insane. And it also looks like we're still doing pretty good. We now reach 69,000 meters, and the world record is actually at 69,212. So once we pass it, and there we go. We went ahead and passed the previous world record, which is insane. So we now hold the world record. So, so far, we're already beating the world record by 150 meters but anyway let's go ahead and continue and see how far we make it so it looks like we are starting to backtrack so i am still going the right way but as you can see our meters have gone down a lot and they'll probably continue to be going down for quite a while so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back and hit the 70,000 meter mark because if you go ahead and go back here and drive to the left a little bit then it should give us the 70,000 meter mark because if you go ahead and keep driving we should hit the 75,000 meter mark eventually but it will probably take us like a whole hour just to get to 70 5,000 meters. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drive back here and hit the 70,000 meter mark and then go ahead and be done. Mainly because we were starting to backtrack, which I experienced that before. And basically, whenever you start going like really far back, like right there, I went back a whole thousand meters and it was just continuing to go down. I'd done that before. And what I realized is that most times it just starts to go down. So it starts to go down and then it just keeps going down for quite a while. Then you do gain a little bit of distance and then it goes down again. And overall, it would take a very long time, especially 
especially if we were trying to get to 100,000 meters, we would probably have to go for like another five hours, which is insane. But yeah, as you can see, we are going backwards right now. And then once we get up here, it should start to go down again, I believe. So as you can see, it is starting to go down again, but that's fine because if you go ahead and drive this way, such as let's take a left. And if you drive this way, there we go. We hit the 70,000 meter spot. So we hit the 70,000 meter spot. So now whenever you die, it should say 70,000 meters because up there, if we were to die, it would probably say like 68,000. But now since we're at this spot, let's go ahead and die. So we made it over 70,000 meters, which is insane. So I'm going to go ahead and die right here and claim the new world record. So let's go ahead and reset our character. And there we go. So we could continue if we wanted to, but it's just going to take way too long. We traveled 70,087 meters, which is insane. And also I went ahead and died right there just so y'all can go ahead and attempt to beat it because I definitely don't want to go too far. There we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and click back to lobby 70,000 meters, which is insane. But anyway, that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video.